What's up everybody, Paul Hickey here with your data-driven daily tip. This is number 160, baby. I know some of the things I say might just fly right over your head sometimes, but this one is a simple one. We're talking about how to set up business email. You know you're sick of sending emails like Rebecca's Bakery 265 at gmail.com. It's time to get you Rebecca at Rebecca's Bakery.com. Easily, let's do it. So I talk a lot about small business injury prevention, and it's kind of like an athlete that stretches. If you don't set up the right kind of email address, it's going to hurt your business just like not stretching hurts your body. Now the small business equivalent of setting up business email the proper way, aka stretching, is using Gmail. It's also known as G Suite. It is just the easiest to use platform. So what you're going to do is first go to gsuite.google.com and then you're going to select a package. And you're going to have email at yourdomain.com, shared calendars, you're going to have voice and video conferencing, shared cloud storage. Basically, you're going to pick the package that's right for you, $5, $10, or $25 a month per user. Really, all you need is the $5 one if you don't have a ton of cloud storage needed. What's really cool about this is you're not going to need all these other apps that you've been using. So you can save cost by not having these apps. You can keep everything all in one spot and be more efficient running your business. Sorry to outsourced IT people like John and Sally, but you just don't need them anymore. You're going to be able to do this yourself as a small business owner. I know what you're thinking. What if I don't like the Gmail platform? It's fine. You're going to be able to use Google Mail as your host and still use your native mail apps on your phone and on your computer. So step three is click get started and you're going to enter in how many employees you have along with your business name. Step four is going to be to fill out your business information which is super simple. First name, last name and your current email address. Step five is going to be adding your domain name. You already have one in this case, so you're going to click yes, I already have one. Type it in here. Then you're going to set up your first email account, which is likely going to be your name or your first name or however you want to do it. First name dot last name at your domain name dot com and then agree and continue. Now you're going to enter in your billing information. You get a 14 days for free to try it. And then you're going to uh, get a two-step authorization code to your cell phone. Now, on the technical side of things, basically Google's going to walk you through setting up what's called your MX records or verifying your domain. So you'll log into your domain host and you'll put these MX records in. They're the same for Gmail. Then in a matter of about two to three minutes, you're going to have an admin panel that looks like this where you can manage everything that you need for your company's email accounts, users, profile, billing info, everything. Now, just like an athlete, you've stretched, you're ready to run fast, baby. I had a client recently ask me, why is Gmail or G Suite better than other email hosting solutions? And the only answer I have is that I've used all of them and it is by far the easiest to use and manage. So the proof is in the productivity on that one, my friends. This has been your data-driven daily tip. Have a great day!